in August 10, 1825, they were establishing the right-of-way for the Santa Fe Trail, and the first treaty for the right-of-way was signed here under an oak called Council Oak. And when it was done, George Sibley, who was one of the three U.S. commissioners, had one of his men carve in a tree there, Council Grove, August 10, 1825. So that's how Council Grove got its name, was from George Sibley. Council Grove had the last stand of hardwood timber between here and Santa Fe. So it was a preeminent rendezvous point for many years. Council Grove had a lot of water, had grass, you had trees. And uh, in 1829, hostilities were getting to be pretty increased along the Santa Fe Trail west of here. And so uh, that's when they started forming wagon trains here. Uh, this was about as far west as you could go safely by yourself or in a small group. And so you'd wait here until you got 50 or 60 wagons to go with you and have some safety in numbers. They'd elect their officers and so forth, establish the order of travel and that sort of thing. And, and that's how they would uh, move on from Council Grove. So that kind of forming up that's going on here, what kind of businesses does that give rise to then in Council Grove? Well, there were no businesses until 1847. Uh, this was purely a campground from 1821 to, to 1847, and that's when Boone and Hamilton out of Westport had Seth M. Hayes come to Council Grove. He's a great grandson of Daniel Boone, and uh, so they sent him out here to open a trading post, the log trading post built in 1847. These, so these wagons are coming from here and so they're the going wagons down here. are crossing over there. There's a, a stone wall marking the overlook on the, the east side of the river. And uh, so that's where they came down and across the river where the riffles are. So this would be pretty much the center of Ford Street, which went across the rocky uh, bottom underneath the bridge and then up on the other side. And then when you got maybe a half a block south, curved up on top of the hill and then back over to Main Street. It's a pretty shallow stream here. It's a, you could wade across this without any yeah, trouble. Yeah, right. Uh, and that was one of the advantages here with the rock creek, uh, rocky bottom. You could get across easily now. Coming up the banks, you know, if you had a lot of rains and so forth, you'd get a lot of that in. Sometimes you'd have to double team them to, to get up the, the other side. But normally, uh, you could cross without any problem. Mm -hmm. 